How's it going guys? This is Mike Gordon over at Classic Chevrolet in Grapevine. We got a special video for you guys today. We're gonna do a side-by-side, by-side comparison of three of the gray colors. We're gonna have ceramic matrix gray metallic, hypersonic gray, and over there on the end, we're gonna have the silver flare. Pay attention, it's gonna be a good video. All right guys, so as many of you know, it's not very often you get these three colors side-by-side side, and there's always people asking, oh, what's the difference between this color? What's the difference between this color? Well, here we're gonna try, make an attempt, we got some good sunlight today, make an attempt to show you the differences and hopefully answer some of those questions, answer some of those curiosities. We'll review these builds a little bit later on. So what we'll do is we'll go straight down the line, we'll do a funnel view, and then we'll come back with the sun side, and maybe catch the back end, see how each one of these grabs the sun. This right here is the ceramic matrix gray metallic. That is metallic, they did add the metallic after the initial 2020 run. So now it is not just ceramic matrix gray, it's ceramic matrix gray metallic. And as you can see, this is a convertible and it does have the carbon flash top and the cells. Next, we also have the new for 22 hypersonic gray. And if you're catching the noise in the background, that is our Jack Cooper transport. He just dropped these off, so they are fresh off the road. And then next we have the silver flare. This replaced the blade silver a couple years ago and is one of the new colors. Now as I come around the back side, or as a side, you'll see how it catches the sun and not really calling it a pearl, but it does have some pearl qualities. Continuing on the back side of these vehicles, again, like I said, the Silver Flare does have a little bit of bronze properties when it's in the sun, catches that sun and really shows off the accents and features. The hypersonic gray really gets some of that shadow and light effect. If you guys are into that photography and videography stuff, shadow and light, it's all about shadow and light. Then the ceramic matrix gray metallic. This is one of my favorite colors to add some decals on. Doing the spider stripes, as I like to call them, or the stinger stripes. Doing some fender hash marks or something like that. Now, I will point out real quick, guys, this right here, if you do order the high wing vehicle or the low profile wing, this is how your vehicle now gets delivered. It has pre-drilled factory holes, and that's where your spoiler is going to go. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick walk across the front of these so you can see as the sun hits the front of them. You can see on that silver flare how it kind of resembles the blade silver when it's not in direct sunlight. Then the hypersonic gray. Then the ceramic matrix gray metallic. I'll also post a few of these, a few pictures of these in the comments section below. And then we'll review the builds on these a little bit later. All right guys, so there you have it. You have the ceramic matrix gray. You have the hypersonic gray and the silver flare with Jen over there in the background. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Mike Gordon, Classic Chevrolet in Grapevine, Texas, 817-421-7200. We'll see you on the next one.